You're listening to 88.7 WLUW, Chicago Sound Alliance, broadcasting from the campus of Loyola University. It's live from the heartland with Tom Clark and Katie Hogan. On today's show, we'll be having conversations with Harry Osterman, 48th Ward Alderman, and a lot of music in the second half with Don O'Keefe Williams and the Gingers. Thank you for listening and enjoy the show. You two is Kev. Yeah, yeah. We can't go wrong. We can't go wrong. It's Saturday morning. Oh, yeah. It's time for Live from the Heartland. Every Saturday, 9 a.m., we are here with fabulous people doing wonderful things to make the world a better place. Hi, Tom. Hi, Katie. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Wish yes. it was a little more spring-like, but it's going to be bright today and probably blustery again. Yeah, this is the way spring comes to Chicago. A little we more winter tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we'll have our one April snow, and uh, we'll be good. You know, Palm Sunday snow is, is always uh, a good thing. Things will warm up just in time for us to accept all those new um, economic refugees from south of the border that... Yeah. Somebody wants to send our Throw way. Throw open our arms. Our arms are wide open. Mr. We know what Trump, an thank you for inviting people to sanctuary cities, you big crazy guy. That's what we meant to do when we called ourselves sanctuaries. Yes. Thanks, dude. We, uh, we're we ready. Uh, just uh, stop. Just put the kids back with their parents, you jab turkey. Yes, right, right, right. right. <laughs> Meanwhile, the entire national security apparatus is on an acting basis. Every leader across the board is uh, not appointed, just acted, acting, and acting as if they know what's going on. Which means there's been no advice and consent from anybody for these appointments. Not uh, for a few months. So uh, these are all the, uh, this is the Trump crew um, that are guarding uh, your homeland security, everything from the disasters that are not being dealt with correctly. To the foreign policy, which we uh, have, uh, you know, it's kind of like on a merry-go-round at this point. But it's a kind of moment where Katie and I and Michael, if you were here, are going, Trump the disruptor. You know, maybe the deep state needs a little bit of this disruption because we remember going back 40, 50 years when expressing our First Amendment rights, we were spied on by the Army and a bunch of other things. So it's an interesting time before we immediately say, oh, how could you do that? Well, that's... Kind of the thing with Trump is, uh, you know, there are certain truths that he is speaking that need to be spoke. Um, and like you said, things that we've known for a long time about the, the deep state of, of our politics anyway. Um, how strange it is for such an instrument to be, <laughs> be <laughs> being used for that purpose. Um, Meanwhile, we have the whole Julian Assange and WikiLeaks thing going on, and we probably need to talk about this at further length maybe next week or the yeah, week after. Yeah, I, I still don't even understand it myself. Well, but. there's some very interesting First Amendment aspects of this, so depending on how he's charged, we may or may not want him extricated back if we actually believe in the First Amendment. And again, that deserves extradited. a longer... Extradited. Extradited. And indeed, that requires a longer conversation. Yeah, so, meanwhile... It's Record Store Day, and yes. we just mentioned that because we do have a lot of music here, and it's a good time to go out and get, if not an LP, uh, the, your, you know, your favorite CD or, I guess, online stuff, but do it through a record store because we need those independent retailers to keep bringing us fresh new music. Yeah, and in, in Rogers Park, the new one is uh, right there in Greenleaf. Wonderful, yeah. Um, I forget the name. But check it out. It's, okay. It is a new place on Michael Greenleaf. will text me the name from... Connecticut. So we had a lame duck city council bid farewell to uh, Mayor Rahm Emanuel and give him a parting gift of $2 billion in TIFs to two developments that have had some debate, but unresolved in some people's minds. Like today. a big kiss to the city, huh? Uh -huh. Come on, right on the lips, babies. Give me your two billion bucks so that rich people can get richer and not have to live with poor people. Ha! Ah! I've well, he it. did sue. My head is exploding. There you go. That was our head is exploding feature for the week, uh, alongside uh, making sure that our <laughs> expenses are being covered by suing uh, Jesse Smollett for $130,000 to repay police investigative costs. 
it'll be an interesting precedent to see how that happens. Sorry. And just to finish that particular thread, Kim Fox has asked for an independent investigation so that maybe someday we can clear the air about all this back and forth and back and forth. I knew Michael would text me the name of the record store. It's Elec Electric Jungle. Thank you, Michael. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, so we did that. We did the white privilege outrage of FOP asking for Kim Fox's head. We mentioned last week that the UIC faculty, graduate faculty, had finally gotten a contract, and we just want to mention the Loyola grad students who uh, were recognized as a union two years ago are still battling to get a contract. Or maybe just working to well, get a contract. Well, they've continued to work, yeah. uh, even though but they I don't mean. have a contract. So I uh, want to keep them in mind. If you're looking for something to do after school this spring, 6- to 12-year-olds are invited to join the Potawatomi Park Drum Circle every Thursday, 4.30 to 5.30 through May 30th. Just show up. It is a wonderful opportunity to get your rhythms going and join with other neighbors to have a lot of fun uh, at Potawatomi Park. Um, we have uh, one election done and another one beginning to kick off. Bernie Sanders is uh, the Rogers Park uh, kickoff for Bernie Sanders is on April 27th um, in the Teal Room at Pub 626 at 1.30. We'll remind you of these things that uh, uh, come up later in the month um, right now. And also on April 27th is the 49th Ward cleanup, I understand. Um, okay, so... Do you want to say anything more about these uh, upcoming I will just events? say that on May 4th, there's a wonderful opportunity to do a labyrinth at St. Scholastica Academy. The Benedict Sisters invite one and all. You can come anytime between 12 and 8 p.m. to 7430 North Ridge. The labyrinth is behind that big old building where the Uno High School also is located now. It is actually a wonderful experience. Yeah. They don't call it Uno anymore. It's a different name. But I can't tell you what it is. It's called Arrow, but I think most people know it as the Uno thing that St. Scholastica used to be. That's yeah. the only way, reason I put it that way. <laughs> we, uh, the reason why Michael is not with us is that he's been spending time in what were the last weeks with his brother Bo um, out east. And uh, Katie, um, a word? Uh, yeah. Uh, my love to the entire family gathered out east. Um, and uh, we'll... Uh, I'm sure celebrate Bo's life sometime in the future, but uh, Bo James was well named. He was uh, a true Bo and uh, a lover of all. His beautiful children, uh, Ashley, Jessica, Travis, uh, Brooke, thank you. In my mind, my mind came back. Um, my, my heart is, you're in my hearts. Uh, you had a beautiful father and uh, he did good work. Uh, his graceful exit uh, was a gift to all of you, I know. And we're going to play a song on his behalf as we uh, welcome in our first guest. Uh, so to you, Bo James, we will remember you well. We'll always think of you with love. 